Hi everyone, this is Maria and I want to share with you another one of my favorite things. I purchased these five little vintage wooden dolls at a flea market about two or three years ago. And so I can't remember what I paid for each one. I want to say in the vicinity of three to five dollars. And so it was one of the last booths that Joey and I had gone to at this flea market. And the man told us at this booth that he had a lot of them, but he had already sold a whole bunch. And so he just had a few left, so I did buy five of them. And I was just really happy to have five. I love dolls. I especially love like little dollhouse dolls, little miniatures. So let me go ahead and show these to you. And so I don't know if these are handmade or if they were store bought, but all of the features are painted and the clothing and the little shoes. And then look at the little hair is painted too. Now the little arms, they move. They have tiny little nails in them. And so I can only imagine how many of these little arms were broken because you could see how thin they are. And then some of them come with these little wooden stands, but not all of them do because they look like they've been broken off. But I really, really am happy with this. Let me show you another one. This one, the hair is a little bit different. It kind of looks like a girl. And you could see where the stand was broken off and the little shoe is broken off. And look at these tiny little buttons, you guys. And then this is the third one. This definitely looks like a girl. She's got the skirt made of crepe paper. And so I know crepe paper was used a lot in crafting back, I want to say the 1920s for sure, because my friend Rosie was a kid during the 1920s. And so maybe even into the 1930s. And I don't know before then or after, but Rosie told me they used a lot of crepe paper. And again, we have the movable arms. I love this little skirt. You could even hear the paper, you guys. And look at that little smile. She looks a little sneaky, doesn't she? And that's what I love about these because each one looks hand painted, so they all have a little bit different look. She's got blue eyes. I love her little painted nose and her rosy cheeks. Some of the paint is worn off here on the back. And the stand, this one has the letter F, where this one has the letter P. The next one has a number five, or is that an S? It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? And so, but anyways, this one is definitely a boy. And again, it has the movable arms, the painted slacks. And then here's the last one. They kind of remind me of clothespin dolls. And my friend Rosie, I do have a video of Rosie with all of her clothespin dolls. Now, Rosie has since passed away. We were friends like for so many years because we were doll collectors together. We had so much fun. But anyways, look at this. I know Rosie would have loved these. She would have just loved these. Now this one I could feel the arm is a little stiff so I wanna make sure I don't pull it too far back. And again, the little stand is missing, but that doesn't matter to me. And some of the paint is chipped, but I think that's part of its charm, don't you? So if there's anyone out there who has any information about these dolls, I would super appreciate it. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye-bye.